I'm a lovely dears. Welcome to this new Italian tutorial. This tutorial will be about comparison. So how we compare um, things in uh, in Italian. Um, so uh, let's start uh, with the easiest. So the comparison of equality. So like in English, when you say um, as when you use as as. Now, in Italian, uh, what do you can use uh, instead of S, S? So, what do you use in Italian to say uh, S, S uh, is or, or tanto, quanto, or così, come. So, you, you have two uh, possibilities uh, to say S, S. Uh, so let's say it with a couple of examples. Uh, if I want to say uh, my friend is uh, as uh, handsome as as smart, uh, so I say il uh, mio amico è tanto bello, carino, uh, quanto intelligente. Uh, so with the first um, with the first term that I'm comparing, I use tanto, and then with the second I use quanto. So tanto bello and then quanto intelligente. Uh, now I can say the same sentence using uh, also così and come. Uh, so I use così instead of tanto and come instead of quanto. So, I can say also, il mio amico è così uh, bello, carino, come intelligente. And so, um, yeah, that's basically it for the uh, comparison of equality. Now, going to the comparison of minority. Uh, so, uh, when in English you say is uh, less... So when, when in English you use less and then. Uh, in Italian, what do you do? Um, to say less, you say meno. So less in Italian becomes meno. And then, to say then, um, you have two possibilities. You use che or di. Now, when do you use K and when do you use D? The D, so we start with the, with the second one because it's easier, um, you use it when you have a noun or a pronoun. Uh, and K, you use it when you're comparing to adjectives or uh, to verbs or to, to adverbs. And so the first part is meno and then you use d if you have a noun or pronoun and k for for the rest basically uh, so to to make some examples uh, you say if you want to say um, uh, my um, sister is um, yeah is less um, tall than me for example, uh, you say mia sorella è meno alta di me. And so you use meno and then given that you have me, so me, so is a pronoun, uh, then you use di. So you say meno and then to, so alta, so the um, the adjective, so what, so what makes the difference between me and my sister, uh, and then the, and then me, the pronoun. Or uh, if you want to say Anna is uh, less clever than Carla, for example, you say um, Anna è meno intelligente di Carla. And, uh, so, also with personal uh, names, uh, you use D. Or another example, uh, if you want to say, um, my 
um, father is less patient than the my mother. Then you say, mio padre è meno paziente di mia madre. So in this case, uh, you are using madre uh, as, as second term. So you are comparing father and mother. And so the second, the mother, is a noun. So you have to use di. Uh, now, going to um, examples with K. Uh, now, if I want to say um, I like running less than dancing, um, then I say uh, mi piace meno um, correre che uh, ballare. Uh, so, uh, what I'm doing here, I'm comparing two verbs. So, I am comparing correre and ballare. And so, with ballare, which is uh, a verb, then I have to use che. So, mi piace meno correre che ballare. Uh, or oh, another example. Uh, if I want to say my friend is less um, patient, um, then then smart then again i say il mio uh, amico è meno paziente che uh, intelligente um yeah so that means that my friend is smart but not so patient and, and so i can bring two adjectives uh, referring to my friend so uh, with adjective with um intelligente i have to use che um, so, that's it basically about the comparison of minority. Going to the comparison of majority basically, basically works in the same way. Uh, so, for when you use D, for when you use K, it's the same. Um, so, again, uh, you use D for a noun, pronoun, personal name, and K for the rest. So, for adjectives, verbs, adverbs. Uh, so this is for the second part. The first part, though, is different, of course, because instead of using less, you have to use more. And so instead of meno, you have to use più. So again, for the first part, you use più, and then for the second part is D or K. And so going to uh, an example, if I want to say, um, yeah, uh, Anna is prettier uh, than Carla, or yeah, is more pretty than Carla. Uh, then I say Anna è più carina di Carla uh, because um, Carla is a personal name. So with it, I have to use di. Or um, if I want to say uh, my uh sister is um more uh, polite than me then i say mia sorella è più educata di me um because i'm using me so me is a, a personal pronoun so it's a pronoun and with it i have to use di or if i want to say uh dogs are faster than turtles then i say i cani sono più veloci delle tartarughe uh, so also in this case uh, i have tartarughe uh, so is a noun as a second term and so we did have to use t in this case combined with the article so combine d plus the article LE that goes with tartarughe and so I have T plus LE DELLE and uh, I'm not done it so far but uh, I will also soon make a video about uh, the prepositions and also about the prepositions combined with, uh, with the articles because um, in Italia we have also the prepositions combined with the uh, determinative articles and so we are going to see it uh, in the near future. Uh, so going to examples with K. Uh, if I want to say 
um, I like uh, swimming more than uh, walking. Uh, I say, um, mi piace più uh, nuotare che cam uh, camminare. Uh, because in this case, uh, I'm comparing so the two verbs, uh, nuotare, swimming, and camminare, walking. Uh, and so with a verb, I have to use che. Or uh, if I want to say, uh, my cousin is uh, more um, clever than polite, I say, um, mio cugino è più intelligente che educato. So in this case, uh, I'm comparing to adjectives. So with the adjective, with um, educato, I have to use che. And a very, very last thing, um, we have just seen that uh, in Italian, for the comparison of majority, so you use più and then what you are comparing. So, um, also più plus an adjective, um, as we have seen also in the examples. But there are some adjectives, actually there are, there are few, uh, but it's important to learn them. So there are some adjectives that when you do the comparison of majority, so with, the, with più, um, they change. So instead of più plus an adjective, you have another word completely. Uh, for example, if you want to say uh, più buono, this becomes also migliore. So there is another word to say più buono. That is migliore. Uh, and so these, these irregular adject there are these irregular adjectives and I will talk about them in uh, another video. So uh, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumb up and please subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Uh, as always, feel free to post any comment, any question that you have or to um, so re request any topic that you would like to hear about. Uh, thanks for watching and see you next tutorial. Ciao, ciao!